Hey, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Come on in. Sit down. Have a seat. Say hello to everybody in chat. Or if you just like to watch, don't worry about it. But welcome in, everyone. Hopefully, you guys are having a great Sunday. It is the 14th. We are getting right through this month. And I don't know about you guys, but it was very hot today where I live. So hopefully, it was a nice day for you guys as well. Um, we do have some new news, so we'll go ahead and go over some of that and um, we'll go ahead and we'll get started with tonight's live. So how is everybody? Hopefully you guys are good. If you're new to the channel, my name is Tanya or Titanium Bill. You can call me either or. Um, and we do talk true crime here daily. So if that's something that you're into, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button. And if you appreciate the, the case coverage, I hope you'll hit the like button. Sends us out into the algorithm. You know, we always ask you. It's like the it's like the best and worst things for YouTubers to ask people too. So we are going to be talking about a case that we've been covering here on the channel, um, Veronica Butler and J um, Jillian Kelly. And if you guys haven't heard about the case, we'll get you caught up. But um, I am going to throw in before we even um, like I don't like to pull up their stuff if I'm going to like put my membership in there because I usually do the membership link. So if you'd like to become a channel member, we'd love to have you. Let me. Say hello to some people. Look at that. I'll just kind of um, go through the names a little bit because it's going to be a, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> Cheryl, Mary Beth, Ladybug. I saw that Jan was in here. Hey, Jan. Welcome in, everybody. It's good to see you all. CJK. Did I say that right? <laughs> I always forget if I do or not. Hey, Citizen Sleuth. Hey, everybody. Hey, Siggy. Hey, Catherine. I'm trying to look as I go. Hey, V Mass. <laughs> hey, Leslie. Welcome in. Welcome on in. Come on in. Mike Jetson, I just saw him. West Virginia Holler Girl, I'm going so fast. Hey, Doodlebug. Oh, I like your. Oh, where'd it go? I went too fast. Oh, for some passion. That's so, so sweet. That is so sweet. Hey, Miss Linda. How are you doing? Um, what was I gonna say about? I was gonna say something about her um her thing. Oh. That's really, that's really cute. I think that's really cute. Like the little doodle bug and the, then you have your little um, Sebastian thing. That's cute. That's really nice. Hey, Francis. And hey, Joseph, welcome in everybody. So um, let me, so let me preface tonight by saying we were going to do two streams. We were going to do like two cases in the same stream, Sebastian Rogers, which we may still do that. And then we were going to do, you know, a, of course, cover the ladies because there was new updates. Um, and then more updates came out. And so we're just going to stick with the two ladies, that, um, you know, we're missing now found, and then we'll kind of, um, see where we're at after that. So welcome in. Like I said, again, if you, if you know me, you know, I'll say welcome in 50 times to the point where it like irritates you. I'm like the Chick-fil-A girl, my pleasure. You know, that's what they always say. So um, let me go over here. I grabbed some notes. So we do have some stuff to go over, but a little bit of background if you're not familiar um, with this case. Let me pull up. Um, I'll just do that. I think it'll show me. Mm, I want to get this one. Okay. Um, no, I don't. I was trying to pull up... Um, a picture of like both of them, but I didn't really want to use the missing person fly. I don't know why it's being weird. Okay. Why the heck is my computer being like so weird all of a sudden? Sorry guys. It's not being like weird. It's just me. <laughs> it's just me. Like some, like I was trying to open another tab and it was just, there we go. It was just showing kind of small and I don't like it showing too small for you guys. Cause then you can't, you can't see it, you know? So we're going to put these ladies up here for a second. Um, and let me go ahead and just put me away that way they're here. You can look at them and I will get a banner to scroll across the bottom too. Um, but basically if you haven't heard of this case, Jillian, um, Jillian and Veronica were driving to four corners. It's an abandoned gas station to pick up Veronica's two children and they were going to a birthday party. Um, I'm hearing that it was her daughter's birthday that day and she was turning six. Um, Julian was the supervisor for her visits. Um, I'm hearing now that she was one of four that she had to go with her like on these trips. So I'm 
assuming it wasn't the same person every time they would maybe switch out. So, um, but they, ne they never did arrive. They never arrived at the gas station to pick up the kids. Their vehicle was found a thousand feet off of like a road. Um, when the officers, well, her husband found the, the car, man, thinking that now with what we know, oh man. Um, and there were two puddles that we just found out the other day that we found out in the beginning that there was a little blood in the car, but now we found out that there was two puddles, um, outside of the car. Let me see if I can pull up that video again, too, of that, um, four corners. I think I, yeah, I don't have it. Up. Let's see if we can go through their thing so I can show you guys what it looked like. Cause they had a video and I was like, Oh, that's good. We played it on the live last night. Let's see if I can find it. I thought it was on their Facebook discussion group. Hmm. It's very desolate though. I wonder if I could, I could probably find a picture of it somewhere. Just seeing if I was missing anything. Okay. Yeah, it, it's not on there anymore for some reason, but it was. It's just like a picture of like someone driving by too. If not, we'll find it. Um, we'll find it. I'll go back to my live if we have to from last night and play it. But it, yeah, it was a really interesting um, video because it's extremely desolate and extremely. Um, it's one of the places that I would never meet somebody. To do an, to do a custody exchange, even if we were cool as a cucumber. Oh, the abandoned gas station creeped me out too. And you could still have, like, it has one of the pumps still there. It's super creep. I mean, there's still stuff in the store. It almost looks like whoever owned it just walked away from it. And it just is collapsing. And it's just, ugh, you know. Oh, yeah, Veronica's dad has the children. That's what Jan told me. It's a very sad situation. I mean, I was real, I was hoping. I mean, in, but in my, I don't know, in my brain, I knew that they were probably not with us. But in my heart, I really wanted them to be. I wanted, you know, to Veronica to have that comeback and have her children full time. She worked so hard. So hard. You know, getting a place to stay, getting a safe, you know, steady job. She had that business. Um, she was doing her thing to get her kids back. And that's just terrible. Um, it just, I mean, there's no other word for it. So we'll get into tonight's updates, 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 death, updates. So we'll start with kind of last night's updates and then we'll move into tonight's. Um, so last night there were four people that were arrested. Let me see if I'm, where am I? I'm on here. Okay. Let me get you a picture of them and put me over here. Okay. Because you'd probably rather see me a little closer up than them. They're looking a little rough. They're looking a little rough. Um, but these four individuals were booked into the Texas County Sheriff's Department. And their names are Tad Collum. And that's the upper um, left hand with the beard. Then you have Tiffany Adams, which is the grandmother that had the custody disputes with Veronica. She's known to steal the children. I mean, she got charged with child stealing. Not kidnapping, and I'll say it every time. I don't understand it. Child stealing, we looked it up, and it said when a custodial parent steals you. She, I don't think she had any custodial rights at the time. I think she, I think her son did. Very crazy. She isn't, they may all be Mary Beth in protective custody. Like, um, just like Kohlberger, high profile case. They might, they might all be. I mean, I, I would think they would be. I would think they'd be segregated, but I mean, that's four people you got to segregate too. But I'm sure that they have a few cells, you know, or they'll just keep them in holding cells somehow, like just keep them away from each other. Um, but they were all booked, like I said, into the um, Travis County Jail. And um, I'm going to read here because I want to make sure I got the charges right. So last night, this was last night. So I knew, we all knew, like, the officers had to have something more than just suspicion, in my opinion, you know, to charge these four individuals with two counts of first degree M. 
you know, um, and then how do you get Tiffany? You got Tiffany here and Tad. Look, look at those two on the left-hand side. How do you get these two fools to help you commit a double homicide? Money? It has to be money. Because, I mean, that, there's no friendship that's that, you know, that's that worth it. Well, we, we are hearing, well, I have been hearing, I'm sure you guys have been hearing that Tiffany, the grandmother, spilled what was going on. And if that's true, isn't that freaking rich? She's the one that put this all together. And then, well, she's going to try to get the better deal. <laughs> Grandma sit your ass down because you're not going to get a deal, honey. They may take a couple years off your sentence, but they'll tack on something before you get out to where you stay there a little longer. Look at her. And then look at this guy. He's smiling. I can see underneath that beard. Look at his eyes. You could tell. This guy's all oh, hell. I'm going to have to cut my beard. That's what he's saying. Why is his beard parted anyway? Like, that's a weird look. I'm nice, aren't I? And welcome in, everybody. Hills have eyes, vibes. Yeah, no, seriously. Ther I mean, I hate to say it, but yeah. <laughs> You're absolutely right. So let's go back over here. I want to make sure I get everything. Um to you guys and I have to like skip over things because <laughs> I had two different shows planned um also last night they I was going to go over the TBI um, press release really quick with you guys um so the TBI came out last night and they did um they sent out a press release and it just kind of goes over what I just said um on March 30th so today would have been they were found two weeks in one day after they were um you know reported as missing on March 30th, 2024, the Texas County Sheriff's Office requested the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigations to investigate the suspicious disappear disappearance of 27-year-old Veronica Butler and 39-year-old Jillian Kelly. Their vehicle was found abandoned near Highway 95 and Road L, and we've looked at that plenty of times here on the channel. Um, it, it's on the playlist, too. Um, south of Eckhart, Kansas, in Royal Texas County. Um, OSBI special agents immediately began investigating the vehicle and determined there was evidence to indicate foul play. On April 13th, 43-year-old Tad Cullum, 54-year-old Tiffany Adams, 50-year-old Cole Twombly, it's Twombly too, and I was calling him Wombly last night, <laughs> I don't care, and 44-year-old Cora Wombly, Twombly, I'll, do, I'll probably do it every time, but you know, they're suspects in a murder, so that's okay. They were arrested in Texas and Cameron. Chimron County is me. That's how you say it. All four individuals were booked into the Texas County Jail on two counts of first degree M, two counts of kidnapping, and one count of conspiracy to commit murder in the first degree. Let me see if I have that. Man, I really saw my pictures. So um, if you want to see a picture of Cole and Cora in some better days, here they are with their dog smiling. Got that still got that stupid smile. I'll take the dog. The dog's cute as hell. How are we going to get that dog? Who's taking the dog? Well, how are we shipping the dog out here? I'll go down there and I'll pick the dog up. And welcome in, everybody. Thank you guys all for being here tonight. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, so we'll just keep moving right along. <laughs> it's just crazy. We'll read the rest of that press release before we move right along, I guess, huh? Can't leave y'all hanging there. Maybe I can. Um, oh, I think it wasn't even showing this to you guys. I thought it was. So sorry, guys. Um, the OSBI and local law enforcement are still currently working to locate the two victims. This was last night. Um, anyone with information regarding this case is asked to contact the OSBI and it gives the tips line. Um, our agency would like to thank the Texas County Sheriff's Office, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Oklahoma Highway Patrol, Kansas Bureau of Investigations, Kansas Highway Patrol, and several other local agencies for assisting us with this case. Now, I'm really confused because OSBI, isn't that their, like, FBI? So I didn't know I didn't know that they would use the actual FBI. So I might, I mean, that might sound ignorant, but I don't know that. So let me know if you know that. 
Yeah, Granny's boyfriend. Yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, Granny was done. We knew it, man. And I didn't, mm, I hate to say when family members, you know, I don't like to say family members when we're talking about a case. Like, I think this family member did it, but I mean, Grandma had it guilty written all over her. She should have known. So maybe she hired the Twombly's. Like, maybe she didn't get her hands too dirty. Do you know what I mean? Maybe she did, like, go there to meet them or something along those lines. But maybe she didn't do any of the actual, you know, unaliving. Yeah, Granny's still dating. I thought that, Mike, when I was, like, putting up, I was, like, typing up notes. And I was, like, Grandma's boyfriend. And I'm, like, that's just is so weird to me to say Grandma's boyfriend. I don't know why. But I'll probably be a grandma with my boyfriend still. I will. So show you again who these beautiful people are. Um, you know, great people of society. Wonderful. I heard that they're Severon. I don't know how to say it. Severon citizens. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. I don't think it does. I think it's just that's what they are. Um, I believe this is more with the custody of the children. And they probably still don't think that the laws apply to them. But I do think that's why they had 20... Humvees going out there and convoy, they had a convoy of like trucks. They had to have done that as a precaution, as a just in case. Like, hopefully, this isn't a Waco. There was more, there was more people there than the beginning of Waco. When they all went in with like five people and they like got chased out. Hey, Ashley, hopefully, you're having a good, good time down there. Hey, Margo. Welcome in, everybody. I'm about to stop saying welcome in so much, but I can't help it. Um, so that was the press release. And then I wanted to show you this little this little thing that I thought I found a humorous today. Last night in the chat, we had a couple people in particular. One person was saying a horse trailer was used to transport them. And the other person was saying that they were found at they were going to be found at a pig farm. They're found at a pig farm. And these people were just throwing it in the chat. They were found. And I'm like, no, they weren't. Cause I'm looking everywhere. And finally I find out where they're getting the information from. I'm in a private Facebook group with like, I don't know, there's like 20,000 people in there, but there was another Facebook group that had 3.1 K. Um, and it was a public group, like an open group. I saw a couple of creators using that public group last night and I was like, oh no, please don't because I knew there was so much misinformation. Well, today when I went to get on there to see wh what the misinformation was today, look at this. Been deleted. They deleted it. They deleted the whole page. Maybe they were watching the show. I don't know. But I literally was over there and I was like, this is where you're reading it from. It's this isn't true. You can't take something from a Facebook discussion group that has 3.1k people, it's public group, and say, Hey, this is this is right. Because they had the chat in an uproar. Everyone was like, Oh my god, they found Jillian. I'm like, What? No, they didn't, huh? They didn't. We we didn't, they didn't, but they did now. They did now. So we can confirm they did now. Um, right before I was getting ready to come on the live, I went over to Nancy Lou on News Nation. So I was curious and that's how I found out before I, um, play that though, I am going to, um, just give everybody like, you know, a little bit of an update. This is from last night though. So we'll go over the, the big update right after this. Sad ending in a community in mourning after the murders of two Kansas moms who disappeared back on March 30th. 54-year-old Tiffany Adams was one of the four people now arrested in connection with the disappearance of 27-year-old Veronica Butler and 39-year-old Jillian Kelly. Now, Adams is a grandmother of one of their kids. News Nation's Nancy Liu has been tracking the story. She joins us live with exclusive new details on the ground tonight. Nancy. Natasha, the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation says they are searching vast areas of Texas County and tragically, it is an apparent search for human remains. OSBI revealing nothing else about what happened to Jillian Kelly and Veronica Butler, but this weekend has confirmed an extensive investigation of a double murder. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Congregants of Hugoden First Christian Church are grieving following Sunday service with prayer and hymns outside the family home of Jillian Kelly. After two weeks of hope, two local families now know to mourn Kelly, a mother of four, and Veronica Butler, a mother of two. There is disdain for the four people now charged with their murders. We read in the Bible that evil is in the world and some people that don't know Jesus Christ or full of evil. As a Christian, we should forgive. But we also have to have the laws of the government take over too. Facing first degree murder, kidnapping, and conspiracy, 54 year old Tiffany Adams, her boyfriend, Tad Cullum, and Cole and Cora Twombly. OSBI is not revealing details about what happened or the alleged actions of each suspect, but a custody dispute may be linked to a motive. Tiffany Adams is the grandmother of the two children Butler was on her way to see on March 30th, and Adams was fighting against more visitation. A court hearing was set for this Wednesday when Butler was expected to seek full custody. Kelly was among four court-approved supervisors for Butler's visitations. They never made it to the usual pickup point, an abandoned gas station in Texas County. I know a few of you guys said you hadn't seen that, and I couldn't find the video of them driving by, but this is the area, this is the spot that they were supposed to meet. Call me crazy, there's not a chance in hell that you'd find me on that property at day or night, picking up a kid, dropping off a kid, doing anything. No, there's no cameras. There's no, there's nobody. There's no, there's nothing to help you. I always recommend, I don't have kids, but th if I, if I did, this is what I would do. And, and you don't have to take my advice because I don't have kids. But if I did, um, if I had to do some sort of, you know, drop off pickup like that, I would always meet at like the local sheriff station, police station. I mean, it's lit up. There's police everywhere. They don't mind at all. <laughs> if you do that, um, they welcome that, you know? So I always find that a good place because you could be in a well-lit area like a Walmart and something can happen really quick. I mean, you know, that could happen at a police station, but maybe they'd be more deterred there, I feel like. So, and welcome in everybody. Thank you guys so much for being with us tonight. If you guys don't mind and you do like the content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll go ahead and play the rest of this video real quick. I thought it was um, pretty interesting. Station in Texas County. That is where like we spotted an around. extraordinary show of law enforcement as they served the four arrest warrants in both Texas and Cimarron counties. Our news station crew, the only network on the ground to capture this exclusive footage, at one point following more than 20 SWAT and police vehicles to various locations. Outside one compound, we heard an officer on a loudspeaker announcing, we have a warrant for your arrest. All officers appeared heavily armed and wary of all who approached, drawing guns to turn people back including us. For the tight-knit community of Hugoton, the healing is just beginning. Now, the four suspects are being held at the Texas County Jail, and there's no word yet on their arraignments. Their alleged actions have left six children without their mothers. And Natasha, in spending the day in Hugoton, I really sense the community rallying around these two families which understandably have requested privacy. Yeah, Natasha. certainly. And I know you've been immersed in these communities and tracking the, the minutia of this story, not the resolution we were hoping for. But Nancy Lou, we appreciate it live in Texas County, Oklahoma. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. I am so sorry. <laughs> I was trying to see what uh, Margo was saying because I saw her say something about like a TV station maybe. Let me know. Because I do see the four arrested there. I was trying to like throw it into the search bar before. So let me know. Um, Rock Chalk said that the witness stated that it appeared to be a stand in aluminum horse trailer. That might be where the rumors got started about being hauled in. Thank you, Squeaky Wheel. Man. Yeah, it was all over. It was all over that Facebook group. I can't believe I found it. And I was like. Come on, people. And then they they peaced out. <laughs> as soon as I found it, they were gone. I was like, okay, I guess they're gone. So, um, so yeah, we'll move right along. I guess I can exit out of that Facebook group now. 
let's see where we wanted to go from here. Oh, also, um, I just wanted to let you guys know they are going to have a press conference tomorrow at 10 a.m. I believe it's Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'll double check and make sure. Would you guys be interested in watching that? I'm going to put it actually um, right now. I'm going to put it into a poll. And then that way, if we get a good amount of people that, you know, participate in the poll and once you watch it, we'll go ahead and we'll stream it tomorrow and I'll do that really fast. And then we'll get back on the road with things. And I'm just going to do yes, no, and we'll put don't care. I should have put something funnier. Okay. And welcome on in, everybody. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for being so patient also. Um, so both women. So tonight, um, let me get her off the screen. Okay. So tonight, right before the live, we got in new news. Um, I believe it's 10 a.m. I should have put that on there. 10 a.m. press conference. I could always, you know, do it at night too, or we could do both. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but both women have been recovered. They just put it out on, and Nancy Lou's been down there. Um, she put it out on News Nation, like, or on her Twitter, 46 seconds, like, before I was about to go live or something crazy. Like, I clicked refresh, and it was 46 seconds on there, and I was like, okay, got to go tell everybody I'll be, you know, there. Like I'll be like a little bit later because I wanted to make sure that we um, had all the details. And I didn't even see if Mark was there. I wish I could go faster. Okay. Um, okay. KCTV. I see it on here, but I don't know um, what to look up. Oh, this right here. I bet. I bet, I bet it was the bodies found. Thank you. Yeah. I haven't, I didn't see that one. Awesome. We'll play that one and then we'll go to, um, Nancy Lou's, um, her info, information. Um, actually we'll go here first. Let's go here first and read the newest news. So the Oklahoma state Bureau of investigation, this is their authorized page. I didn't make this page up. I like to say that. Um, update. On April 14th, the OSBI, FBI, Texas County Sheriff's Department, and the Office of the Oklahoma Chief Medical Examiner recovered two deceased persons in Royal Texas County. Both individuals will be transported to the medical examiner's office to determine identification as well as cause and manner of death. This is still an ongoing investigation. We are protecting Oklahoma one partnership at a time. So I know that they arrested, wasn't it like three in Texas County and then one in Ch Chimeron or whatever it's called County? I'm wondering who was with who, like what three were together because they're saying that, you know, these bodies were like, they were found in rural Texas County. So where do you guys think? Oh, what happened? Oh, Cheryl got, man, dang it, Nightbot. <laughs> it's not the links, right, Nightbot. It's just the period in between. She accidentally put a period in between. Look, it says you have to let it go. <laughs> so, um, Cheryl, the reason why Nightbot will get you, I'm just going to say, how are you doing it? How? And then. So when you put the period in like that on accident, that's what times are like gets you from Nightbot. There we go. <laughs> Jan said it too. I was trying to give you a little, a little, uh, whatever it is. Example. Okay. Play that. Okay. We'll play, um, that video that you guys sent or she told me to go to, um, is it this video here? I'm assuming we'll, um, we'll read through it and then we'll play the video. So this looks like it just came out. Yeah, it did. Um, you guys are awesome. <laughs> 
So it just says two bodies have been covered bod have been found in an Oklahoma county that had been so um, scoured by law enforcement officials in an attempt to find two missing Kansas women. So are they saying that they were placed there afterwards? Because it says in Oklahoma County that had been all oh, scorned by law or scoured. Isn't that what man? I hate these stupid words that I know what they are. Scoured. scoured, yeah. That means they scoured the area. They looked everywhere. So I don't know. Maybe that's maybe I'm reading that wrong, but. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigations announced on Sunday, April 14th, that two bodies were found in Texas County during a search for missing Veronica Butler, 27, and Jillian Kelly, 39, from southwest Kansas. The search began after the pair's vehicle was found on a royal road off of Highway 95. Evidence found in the vehicle pointed to signs of foul play. The women were last seen on March 30th when they left to pick up Kelly's children. No, Butler's children, guys. Butler's. Okay, well, they got that wrong, but that's okay to pick up Butler's children. Investigators have two deceased individuals, said two deceased individuals, were found in a royal area of the county on Sunday. Both will be taken to the medical examiner's office to identify the bodies and find their cause of death. I'm, I'm going to put my money on gunshot wound. Or um, gun, yeah, gunshot wound. Because of the puddles of blood. And of the charges, he's tagged, been charged with felonious, like, waving a gun at people and threatening them. So, the discovery comes a day after four suspects were arrested in connection to the incident. I'm just going to say their um, first name. Tad, 43. Tiffany, 54. Cora, 44. And Cole, 55. They were all arrested on suspicion of two counts of murder in the first degree. Well, the suspicion part is going to be off. Two counts of kidnapping and a single count of conspiracy to commit murder in the first degree. And there they all are again. Okay. And then there's the beautiful women. Like these women had their whole life to live. You know what I mean? Their whole life. They were found. Yeah. Th Kathy, it was literally right before the live. I had to change my thumbnail and everything. I hope it was still changed. It's not. Let me change it. I don't know why it's not changed on here. Let me know if it's changed on your side. Maybe that'll be better for me that, um, so I want to make sure it's like, just in case we talk about Sebastian and I, you know what I mean? I don't want it like to be on there. Okay. Open that too. Cause I just found another video. Oops. Sorry. Oh no, it's changed. Okay. Very weird. It's changed on my side anyway. Let me know if it's changed on your side. It said found on the thumbnail. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It's the right one then. I just wanted to make sure because I don't want to get people like, they're like, you know, um, why aren't we talking about Sebastian? Because I was just, we, we may still do that, but um, I just wanted to make sure we got all this out. Too. Oopsie. Oh, look, and she's already back on. Um, we'll go over here to this video and play this first. And. Like I said, thank you guys all for being here tonight. Um, they did, if you guys are just now joining us, they did recover the remains, the bodies of um, Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly tonight. They were the two missing women um, that were, they were missing after going to pick up Veronica Butler's children and failing to come back home. So um, they found two puddles of blood by the car, basically we kind of knew what was going to be happen after that, but their grandmother of the, the children was arrested, which that blew my mind. I, I mean, we knew, we kind of knew, but it, it still blows your mind when you think about grandma, grandma doing that. So we're just getting caught up. Um, they were found tonight. Pretty basically we know it's them, you know, um, they did say two remain, you know, two human bodies were found this evening and they are going to the medical examiner's office and then they are going to be, um, they'll let us know the cause and manner of death. Heartbreaking news this morning. A pregnant woman is in the hospital after getting hit oh, wait, by this, a car. So this, ain't, this ain't what we wanted. I thought this was, hold on. Maybe it was just like one here. Maybe it was heartbreaking news this morning. A pregnant woman weird. is in the hospital after getting hit by a car. Are they going to say it under, after this? City police say the oh, woman got see. off the KCATA bus near the Independence Plaza I can't fast Park. forward it. Oh, wait, there we go. On the cause of death. Jerusalem is Israel's military.
Over and the U said you were damaged after it. It'll it's now over here. Fortunately. Okay, well, that was weird. But okay, we just read the article. I thought maybe we had a video, but I have a video for you guys. <laughs> so let's see here. We're going to go back to, um, we're going back to her. She is so pretty. We're going to go back to News Nation because she's, she's saying something about it. So get to right now just coming into our new prayers for these Saturday. families the bodies believed to I be mean, the two kansas moms found by police this is somebody's worst Obama. nightmare this information just coming in right now 27 year old veronica butler and 39 year old jillian kelly last seen march 30th tiffany adams a grandmother of one of the kids one of the people now arrested after butler and kelly disappeared let's get straight to news nation's nancy lou live on the ground for us tonight nancy tell us what you're learning now well, Natasha, it's yet more deflating news for these communities in the Oklahoma panhandle. Uh, the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigations had told me that they were searching vast areas of rural Texas County uh, for the two women. And just minutes ago, we heard from OSBI that along with the FBI and the Texas County Sheriff's Department in a joint operation, they have recovered two deceased persons in rural Texas County, and both individuals are being transported to the Oklahoma Office of the Chief Medical Examiner to determine identification and cause of manner of death. So that means there is no positive identification that these bodies are J uh, Jillian Kelly and Veronica Butler, but of course, this discovery happened during their massive search for the two women. Uh, we are expecting a news conference tomorrow from the OSB, uh, OSBI, and of course, News Nation will bring that to you live. Uh, they have provided very little information about their investigation all along. Uh, they have kept things very close to the vest, but this is exclusive video from just yesterday, News Nation on the ground capturing this exclusive footage as they closed in on the four suspects who they arrested yesterday, including Tiffany Adams, who is the grandmother uh, to Butler's kids. And it's suspected that a custody dispute may be linked to all of this, what has turned out to be a case of double murder. Uh, but again, the Freaking breaking shame. news tonight is that two bodies have been recovered. There's no positive identification of these two bodies. They are now on the way to the medical examiner's office, but these bodies were recovered during the search for these two women, Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. So yet more deflating news to an already tragic story, Natasha. Yes, certainly. And I know you've been pointing out all night, Nancy, there are six children in all of this left without their mothers, but we appreciate you bringing that breaking update straight to us. Nancy Lou live in Texas County, Oklahoma tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I think the officers, like if this wasn't their, if this wasn't their bodies, I think that the officers would have already come out and like said something like, we found two bodies, but these are not them. Like we know for sure. I mean, it's only been two weeks. You should still be able to identify them. You know, um, they even have, I don't know if they would be on record, but they even have those little fingerprint things that they carry around where they can do your fingerprint right there and like put it through their little system. They got like smart tech, smarter tech than, you know, we do over here on this channel. So I wanted to go over to Nancy lose Twitter and I'm going to refresh it, see if she's said anything else. Um, now it says 10 AM, but I don't know if that's their time or our time because there's central time. So that would be like what? 11 AM here. So if you guys know that, let me know. Yeah, but this, this didn't have anything to do with the pig farm. We don't believe that was in a Facebook group that people were saying that in. And now the Facebook group is shut down. It's no longer. Yeah, so I don't know, but I don't know if it's central or if it's our time because it's just saying 10 a.m. And I know that News Nation is in Chicago. That's an hour behind, but I don't, you know what I mean? I'm so confused. Let me see if anybody commented and was like, hey. All right. Yes. 10 a.m. Central. 
Okay. Love her for that. So that would be 11 a.m. here. Cool. I like that. I like that. If you need to change your vote, let me know. <laughs> so at least it's, you know, 11 for us. So. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered either way. You think they were kept alive? I don't think so. Not at all I, um, from Astro Space. There was there was um, blood puddled by the car. Two, pu two puddles of blood. They said puddles too. They didn't just say like, we found a little bit of blood. They said puddles. So to me, that says they didn't get much further, if any further from that spot. Yeah, it's central. Thank you, Lima Sierra. Sir, Lima Sierra. And hey, Harlow. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Um, you know, my post-it notes are all the way back here. Oh, whoa. Oops, I just dropped them. I had to put a little my robe over my lap tonight. I was cold. But it's Sunday, so, you know, you'll be seeing me in this sweatshirt for as long as I can wear it on Sundays. <laughs> I said Sunday scaries. You can't beat that. So 11 a.m. tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, I want to go over Sebastian um, Rogers again. I just want to hit up a few things on that case. I've got some stuff I want to. Mr. Rosebud, oh my gosh. 4.22 a.m. there. Well, you can wake up all nice and early. <laughs> or is that what it is right now? Because you guys are all different. We're all different times here. Okay. So Nancy Lou, let's see what else she had. Um, I wanted to show you guys a couple things, I thought. That was when they recovered them. And that was an hour ago. So and I think this is basically um, oops, what we saw earlier. Yeah, that's what I just showed you. So two bodies were found in rural Texas County, Oklahoma. If um, you're just now joining us, they did find the remains of the two missing women that we've been covering here on the channel, um, Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. They found them in rural Texas County. We don't know exactly where um, or how they were discovered, where they were discovered, um, if they were above ground, you know, below ground. We don't know anything really about that part, but they are going to come out. The OSBI is going to come out and do a press conference tomorrow at, um, it'll be 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so it'll be 10 Central for them. Um, and we're going to go over that, I think. So let's see um, how the poll's doing. Has anybody, has everybody done the poll? I usually don't like, you know, be like, come on, do the poll, but just do the poll for tonight. Looks like everyone wants to come. Okay. 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 I love that. I love that for us. Let's see where we're at. Oh, did she do, she did Cheryl again because she did the period. Okay. And, um, since you guys are all here, if we can get the likes up a little bit more, let's get them up a little more. And then we can, let's see, we are so close to 350. If we can get them to 350, I'll gift out some memberships tonight. How's that sound? I'm going to see if there's anything else on here. Oh, they did update this. I thought this was beautiful. Um, so if you guys hadn't seen this before, just this cross was here and it has their name on it. And it's beautiful little cross. Whoever made that, um, it has like little butterflies on it. Just really pretty. The um, eucalyptus kind of flowers there. I, I think those are beautiful. Um, and, and then it looks like people have, you know, placed some more flowers around there. Some, you know, for artificial and some real. And it's just, um, it's extremely sad that these ladies may have, you know, taken their last breath around this area. And it's just, and now people have to go there to see them. I mean, that's, that's sad. Um, does anybody have anything they want to say about this case? I could always, um, yeah, I sure can Charlie. Yeah. Anytime we watch a video, I can put the captions on for you. Just let me know if I don't have them on. But yeah, if anyone wants to come up and say anything, let me know. Um, I don't mind. Let's see. Um, polls doing good. I wanted to show you the Facebook group as well, but the one that I'm in, um, and then I did look up Veronica's mother or Jillian's mother again. Um, and it's sad. It's just a lot of um, like poems. She just kind of 
getting some of her grief out, you know, through her Facebook. And sometimes you have to do that, you know, and sometimes you have to write your loved ones on there and do those little things like call them because although they're not there, you know, it, it gives you a sense of like, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of the word like a like sense of calming and peace, I would say, you know, to do those things. And you guys are wonderful for being here tonight. Let's go over to, um, well, that's not their Facebook group here. This one is. Oh, the, the discussion. I don't know why it only lets you see some of the discussion. Am I doing something like weird? Sort comments. All comments. There we go. Look at that. Maybe that's why I wasn't seeing it. I don't know. There were a couple things I wanted to read. I wonder how much land they own between all of them. Because it says Tiffany has lived there for like 28 years. I don't know if any of this is... Um, like verified. I don't know what that little hand means. <laughs> She's followed by two people. So, you know, take it with a pinch of salt, but this is a private group. So I do appreciate that. Um, it says she didn't just wake up in her fifties, mid fifties and think I'm going to M some M so-and-so for pissing me off. And she most likely wouldn't have even approached Twombly's for help unless she knew for sure that they were capable and willing. That's what I said. Are there other people who've went missing through the years in that area who were never found. I think they need to thoroughly check all of the Adams and Twombly's land really well. I doubt it. They probably, this is probably their first one dummies. They got caught within. I don't even, I wonder when the police had their eyes on them. Now I'm wondering, um, I did have some questions down here. Let's see. Okay. Um, This was before they found the bodies, but uh, my question before they found them was one of my questions was who said the grandmother Tiffany confessed? Cause I haven't seen that anywhere. Like I've heard it, but I haven't like seen it um, where they said, like she said that she confessed. And I said, why would she confess to the investigators if they hadn't found the bodies yet? Um, but they have now. <laughs> And I said, you would think um, she would keep her mouth shut just in case they were never found. It may be harder to prosecute them if the bodies weren't found, but obviously they were. So I, yeah, let me see her. Um, her son even said that. Do I have that up still? Damn, I have it bookmarked, but you know me and my bookmarks. I'm not good at looking at that crap. <laughs> I'm like so bad with the computer sometimes. There we go. Bookmarks. And then I had it in its own like bookmark right here. Open this. Okay. Um, how do I view the folder? I just had it up the other day too. But, oh, that's the one document. Maybe I, okay, there's reasons. I'm going to try to find that document for you guys. It was him basically saying that he was scared of his mother. Um, he didn't. He didn't care about the supervisors that Veronica had picked out for um, them to watch their children or, you know, have for visitation, um, but his mother did. And his mother would say things like, um, actually, it might even be on here. His mother would say things like to him to, so that he would have to tell Veronica like that he didn't like these people because he was so terrified of his mother. He said that he thought that she had um, cops working out of her back pocket or something like that, or work she had cops in her back pocket. This isn't it. This is the feloniously pointing a firearm, though, for um, Tad. Oh, here it is. Okay. Actually, there's a better one if you go down, I think. It's like blown up. Here it is. Okay. So it says here, 
And this is one of the legal documents we got. Like we could literally only get a couple before they sealed everything for the um, custody. But it says the defendant and the plaintiff have had a telephone conversation that took place extremely recently, September 22nd, 2023, wherein the plaintiff admits that he never disapproved of any of the supervisors that the defendant had chosen for her supervised visitations and that it was his mother that would make that decision and he felt compelled to listen to her. The plaintiff further stated that he had been threatened numerous times by his mother that she would kill him, shoot him in the head if he didn't do what she told him to do. Now, looking back on this, that's that didn't age well. This isn't aging well. You talk about shooting someone in the head. That's not going to age well for you, honey. Wow. Um, that he would send the plaintiff copy and paste a text directly from his mother as if it were him, that the plaintiff believes his mother has cops in her pocket. Most importantly, the plaintiff admitted that he believes that his mother coaches and has coached the subject minor children before dropping them off with their current counselor. She's been charged with child stealing too. I've said it before. I'll say it a hundred times. Thank you, Jan, for giving out a membership. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you. I bet that's Texas dog mom. It's TX dog mom. Oh, and by the end of the live, let me tell you something that funny happened to me today. It's not really funny. He's afraid of his mommy. I think so, Groovy. I think he is. I think he's afraid of her. <clears throat> now, I'm wondering, how much did he know, if anything? I don't think he knew. I really don't. I personally don't. I don't know why I think that way. I just... It seems to me, reading the documents that we have, like the um, the other one for the um, writ of habeas corpus, like that document, and I do have that somewhere um, as well. Oh, that's the one I just had pulled up, actually. Um, but it says in there, like, all of the things that his mother has done. It's just like, what hasn't she done? Let me see if I can blow this up and read a little bit of it to you. So I can tell you what the kind of lady this was. Um, it says the respondent, because basically Veronica was taking Tiffany to court. Veronica wanted full custody of her babies. She was doing everything in her power to move in the right direction to gain custody, full-time custody back of her children. Obviously, the father of the children can't be there in their lives. He's in a um, state or he's in a state ordered rehab. So why not have the biological mother give the, those kids to the biological mother? Grandma don't need to have them. Point blank, period. But um, here it says the respondent, which is Tiffany Adams, has had exclusive possession of the minor children for the past several months and is withholding them from both parents currently. So she was holding those children from her son and from Veronica. This is not in the best interest of the children and is a violation of the court's order. It says, um, the respondent, Tiffany Adams, has not to date filed any action for grandparental visitation rights, nor has she filed any action to procure guardianship of the minor children. As such, her possession of the minor children is in violation of this court's orders and the laws of the state of Oklahoma. Um, <laughs> this is the best part. The respondent, Tiffany Adams, is currently in violation of the Oklahoma criminal statute, child stealing, which is a felony offense punishable up to 10 years in prison. All elements of said crime are present at the action by the actions of the respondent. Now, they should have looked into that. I mean, obviously, child stealing, that's what she... She's in violation. She What? So you could have locked her up for 10 years. But we ain't going to lock anybody up. We ain't locking nobody up. We're just going to give them a second, third, 15th time. Because you could tell these people have been in the system before. I don't care who. I don't care who says it differently. 356. Okay, let's see what we could do here. Oh, but that's me again. Sorry. That's me again. Um, let's give out some memberships. So if you guys don't have your memberships on... Um, Make sure you have them on, like the video, subscribe to the channel, all those fun things. We will be doing some giveaways here in the next couple of weeks, maybe the next week. Maybe we'll do it next weekend on both channels. So I'm going to gift them out in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> here I give you. Okay. 
because thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it so much. Okay. So, um, hopefully you guys all got a membership. Jana, Citizen Sleuth, Charlie, Ruby, Patronism, and Leslie. Oh, Joanne. Oh, no. 3, 14 a.m. -er? Oh, wow. 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 That's early. Early or late. We They are having a press conference tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for all of the stuff that's been going on in this case. I mean, within the last two days, there were four, I mean, like within like a day, really, this was last night they were arrested. So it was like four arrest. Um, well, like, I don't know, it was during the day, but it wasn't that early. Um, four arrest for first degree. Um, I want to make sure I read these off right. So they've got first degree, um, two counts of first degree um, murder, two counts of kidnapping, and one count of conspiracy to commit murder in the first degree. Now, because they were all conspiring with each other, I'm assuming. Yeah, West, I can't, I need that presser. I'm about to stay awake all night just, just so I can be here for it. Right here. I'm not going to move from this spot. If you see me in the shirt tomorrow, just mind your own. Um, we'll go back over here. Well, actually, I wanted to show you this page. Okay. So we'll just go up here and see if there's anything in the discussion group. That's, you know, I went back to my page. And yes, my name's Titanium Bill on my YouTube or my Facebook. But I don't talk to nobody on there. It's kind of sad, huh? Oh, look, someone made this for them. Oh, that's a pretty picture of her. Of Veronica. Like, we've seen this one of Jillian. She's a beautiful lady. She was a year older than me. Wow. Man, that hits you hard when you think of it like that. That's she was just doing her job. Like, and I mean, Veronica was just being a mom. This is like senseless. I mean, they're all senseless, like they really are, but this is like really it's what? Yeah, I would be Tammy. I'd be falling asleep. Thanks, Lima. This case must be sticking in my brain. I had such a weird dream last night. Really? No, I've been thinking about, I'm like, where are they? Where are they? Well, cause be, because somebody did say there was like a, you know, someone owned a pig farm and I'm trying to find it and I can't find it anywhere. And I'm like, but what if there is, and they don't find these women because of all of that, I get your mind spinning a little, you know, get your mind spinning. But if you guys don't mind, don't forget to take the, um, the poll there. And we're going to go back to the discussion group part, see if there's anything on here. You, oh, is this going to be like weird because I, I changed the settings? I wonder where we could watch that. K-A-K-E. Okay, yep. And so nobody has like a whole lot of um, videos. They just have a lot of post. Okay. It says legal descriptions. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. I think it's the property that they own. Farming, LTD, like... Wow. Okay. And then they changed it. 160 acres, another 160 acres. No, these are two the same. No. So two 160 acres, 130 acres, 130 acres, 180. And it says more or less. Don't know me. I can't be doing no damn math, especially this late at night. What did it say? 320 times two minus 80. 1,040 acres. That's a lot of acres. They do. They have like that meth look or something, Yvonne. Yeah, it was really bothering me too. So we found out that it was on a Facebook group. Like all those crazy theories everyone was hearing about like the, the horse trailer 
being used to transport them back, which I mean, I could believe that because that does sound plausible. Um, and then somebody put in there um, the pig farm theory. And so we, I went over there and was trying to debunk them. But then today I went to the same Facebook group and it was gone. I was like, oh, maybe they watched the show last night. Hmm. Yeah, not credible sources. None of them were. So they have a lot of acres. I think my parents' house, it was in a subdivision, but still, I think it was a sat on like a half an acre or one acre. One. Imagine a thousand. And I don't know why these are on here because I can't see them. I want to see the images. Send us the images. I love this person. I'm wondering what has been happening lately. Can someone tell me, please? No. Scroll up or scroll down. Look at this. Body found. Look at that. You got your answer. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like weird when people say that. What does it say? 22. So I always don't know about the anonymous people. It says, for those that are concerned about finding the women's remains, they know exactly where they are. And Ellie is working on recovery. I know this because I have land adjacent to the area they're digging in. It's just a matter of time. I watched them for a few hours today. This place is an area that is off the beaten path and not really seen. It is land Tad has had leased. The orange machine is a mini excavator. Looks like a tiller to me. That orange, um, I do not give permission for this pick to be used without my consent. Like, doesn't that look like a, I mean, I'm not giving them consent to use this picture right now. Um, I'm using this for educational purposes. Um, that's a tiller to me. What do you guys think? Does that look like a, what do you guys, I mean, that I, I looks like a, till, a tiller to me. Hey, Callie Nine. Welcome in, everybody. Hey, Kathy. You've probably been here for a minute. <laughs> Just saw it. Um, I wish I can. Can I zoom in? Okay. I bet you if I turn my camera off, I'll be able to do it because it's very weird. I'm, I don't know. I'm weird. Let's see if I can. Let me open another tab. Oh, look at that. It did it already. That looks like a tiller to me. How do we know what kind of cars those are too? I can't even tell. But it does look like there's writing on the side of that one. That white one. Wood chipper. Looks like a tiller. You know, they say like you till up your land. It looks like a mini one, you know, just I don't know why they'd have a mini one on a farm. though. Unless they use it for their gardening. Very old tiller. Yeah. Like it almost looks like it has stuff like caught up in it. Yeah, T. Salas. Where you been, girl? <laughs> yes uh, 46 seconds after it was put on twitter i had it on the community tab within like like another 10 seconds i was like oh i just copied and pasted everything so you guys would know um why i was switching up the thumbnail and stuff too but yeah that looks like a tiller to me i'm just gonna say that let's go to the comments let's see oh look at this thanks for posting thank you for posting is that the keys elevator in the background what I'm about to say that looks like a tiller, dude. Is there nobody else thinking that? Because um, do they dig up bodies? With no, no, they don't. Not unless they're very, very deep. Does nobody question things? Like. Well, I don't, what's a damn elevator? Are, is that what this thing is? I mean, like these big cauldron things? It's an ex excavator and a, it's an excavator. I think it looks like a damn tiller to me. Hold on. Because they're usually the ones with the big claw. Yeah, like, come on. Like, no, there's no, that's not this. Now let's look up small tiller. Now it looks more like, I think like this. Maybe like an older one though. Like the one with the bigger 
like things. That's what I think it looks like. Um, but let's go. Okay, so this is the tiller. This is an excavator. Mini excavator. I just put a mini because it looks small. And then this is the picture. I don't know. I think it looks like a tiller. Because it would have like, it would have a spot where you sit in it. But how, where do you sit? Excavators, you have a spot where you sit. You have the claw. It brings up the dirt. A tiller has a metal handle like that, and it goes and it tills up the land. Right? I feel like I'm seeing this right, but maybe I'm not. A little Kubota. Let me see. I've heard of that brand before. This is the only one that's come up. These look huge. These are, oops, these are big. Let me, to me, they are, they are. And I put little Kabuta in. Like, that's a toy, but like, yeah, this. Um, where'd it go? They're like, oh, <laughs> they're all cars. I think it's because I put little in. But there's this. Subcompact. Yeah, I don't, there's no spot for a seat. I, I don't know what this dude's on there for, but. Like, there's no seat. Wonder where this is at. We'll find out soon enough. I'm just over here staring at it. Looks like a tiller to you, Liz. Looks like a tiller to me, too. I only reason why I say that is because I had like three or four of them because my dad had a garden and he kept saying, bring me a tiller from a friend's house. And every time I did, it wasn't a very good one. <laughs> so I kept having to go back and go back. And it was just my dad. It wasn't the tiller we found out. It does look small. Yeah. But even when we zoom in, I mean, it, I don't know, like we can zoom in a little bit. I don't know if you look at it compared to the car, to the truck, to the building right there. To this boat. I don't know. Tracks and shovel are behind the hill. Huh? Like you think that could be a seat? But then there's no, there's nothing around you to protect you. Like you're not in that dome. They wouldn't have cops. There would, they would not be using no rusty ass shit. Come on now, guys. I just thought of that. This is the FBI, OSBI. They're going to have state-of-the-art equipment to go in there and do something, right? If you think about that, like, and where's their, like, OSBI, like, um, little command post van or something? Hey, Liz, so what, they were saying something about an elevator. Do you see an, what, what's called an elevator in here? In this picture? I'm thinking maybe it's a different word. Like it's used for different things. Let me see. I think the cab is the darker square. Let me see. Yeah, I can't see anything from this picture. <laughs> Man, it's hard to tell what's even there. Okay. We'll go back and we'll see if we see anything else. Actually, I'm going to put... I'm going to put looks like a tiller. Because I want to see if anybody comments on that. Like, yeah, it does look like one. Or no, it doesn't because of this reason, you know? Maybe there's a farmer out there <laughs> that'll say something. It says... um, I wonder which one's going to tell where they, this was two hours ago, where they hid the bodies first. Whoever does will probably get some leniency, at least get the death penalty taken off the table. Does Oklahoma have the death penalty? Probably. probably. Oh, wow.
So forget Texas. Dang, Oklahoma. Capital punishment is legal penalty in the U.S. state of Oklahoma. The state has executed the second largest number of um, convicts in the United States all after Texas. So they took they took Florida's spot since re-legalization following Greg versus Georgia. Wow. Okay. They be, yeah, they be putting people to death there. So someone's going to be talking. It's probably grandma. Grandma shouldn't, shouldn't, you know, be getting that. You, you zoomed in, you thought it was an excavator. Maybe it is. Yeah, they had a lot of silos, Siggy. And when I saw those silos, it reminded me of Chris Walt's case, you know, with the water, the water um, tanks. So, yeah, did, what did they say about the elevator thing? Or maybe they're just talking weird. Yeah, because it used to be Florida. Wow, yeah, they ain't messing around. Huh. Screenshot the picture. Let me see. I'll have to do that later. I'll have to screenshot it. I feel like if I did that, I might blur it, so. Oh, okay. A small excavator. Let me see. Yeah, there's like one that looks like right here. Is that what you're talking about? Like that trench? Because the trench is like this, right? <laughs> I don't really know a whole lot about farming. I mean, I do. I do, I guess. I mean, I don't know like a ton, but... I, I mean, my friends all had farms. You know what I mean? Like growing up, they had farms and they were in 4-H and stuff. So elevator, excavator. Oh, it's all the same. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you. Because that's what they were like referring to it as. Okay. Thank you. I was like, what the hell's an elevator? I'm looking for, you know, like an elevator, like little elevator building or something, you know, that you walk into. I, mean, I didn't wasn't thinking it would go up and down, but I was like, what is this? I think that they knew immediately. And I know that um, Jan told me that the kids are with Veronica's dad and I believe West Virginia. So um, they're far away from this. They just have to control what is on TV, which is very easy. As of right now, this case may break wide open and court TV may fly on in though, like a bat out of hell. Oh, is it? I want, okay. The grain silos are called elevators. I got you. It's not the same thing. Okay. That's what I thought it was. Okay. Like the, the gray, the gray one back there. I guess I could see why that would be called a elevator. Yeah, I guess I could see that's why it's called an elevator. But they don't. But it doesn't put you up. You have to go up the stairs, you have to walk up the stairs. Thank you. I've never known that. I've lived. I live in Ohio, and I used to live in a town that had like three thousand people in it. Everywhere was farmland. I gotcha. Yeah, like the ones in the back. Okay. Yeah, I see this. I didn't know if this gray one was considered a silo as well. Or if it's just like, it's a quantum shit hut. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Tom Boy. Trump. Thank you, guys. Man, y'all know your farming equipment. I just, I've never, um, never had to be on a farm. My dad worked on a farm though once. He did um, the hay. What does it say? Oh, we've already. Okay, we've already read that. They're probably not going to say too much more tonight. Um, see how that doesn't let me let go down anymore? I don't know why it does that. We'll go back up. We'll refresh. We'll go to Twitter. We'll refresh over there, see what they've got to say over there, and then we'll see where we're at with our poll. Um, I don't know what they're saying there. Um, it says, I'd like to personally thank the witness to this senseless and cowardly act that came forward immediately following the news that Veronica and Jillian were missing. Their courageous accounting of what they personally saw that horrific day played a huge 
role in this investigation. I also know that it's been, that it has taken a huge toll on their lives personally. I know the person questions the what ifs of this horrifying and heartbreaking story. I'd like them to know that they are not, Oh wait, that there was nothing that they could have done to prevent these animals from doing what they did. And more than likely they would have probably ended up missing too, missing also. Please know that God doesn't make mistakes and he put you in that place. And at that time, because he knew who you and what you, what was needed to shed light on some much needed information for the sake of Veronica and Jillian's families. Please know that I feel that Veronica and Jillian's family members and the entire communities of Hugoton, Elkhart, Yarborough, and all the surrounding areas are thankful to God for you. I know that I'm very proud and thankful for you. That's nice. Um, But you got to be on the flip side of that, you know? I mean, if God put her there for a reason, then why did why did God put those two ladies there for a reason? I mean, you know, like what was their reason? I, I'm not trying to get I'm not trying to get into that, but you know what I mean. I'm a two-sided coin kind of gal sometimes. Oh, we I read that yesterday. <laughs> wow, did they just become hardcore drug addicts or something over the last five years? That's a huge difference. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So we got these people. These people don't look too bad. She's got her hair, you know, highlighted. Her hair's thicker. It looks thicker, healthier. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the forehead difference. I, I don't know. There's something. He looks smaller. Yeah, maybe that's why he has the beard, but. Wow. And then I showed you the picture of the Twombleys here. There they are with their dog. Better days. I did have a post from him. I guess it was his birthday recently, like the day before they were arrested. And he got a dance with his wife out in the front yard and blah, blah, freaking blah. Don't bore us with your boring ass life, you know? Um, but yeah, I don't like these people. They took two mothers away from six children. Six. And we don't even know how if they have any. Well, no, now we do. We do. There's seven because her son doesn't have a mother anymore, even though he's in rehab. I mean, he doesn't have a mother. Wonder how many kids the Twombly's had. And we, how do you come up with that situation? Where does that conversation come up? For real. Do you get them really drunk and high first and then bring it on? Or are these people right here just that crazy that you could just bring it up in crazy, like regular old conversation? Like, hey, how you doing today, Cora? Hey, do you want to off some of these people with me? Oh, yeah, sure. It's crazy. What did Tom say? They are claiming that. Yep. So we're in citizens. Yep. I wish I could say that. Get poured over. <laughs> Law don't apply to me. <laughs> Granny's looking rough. She, yeah, Granny is. Let's go back over to her because, man, this is a, this is a glow down. Like, look at his hands. He looked like he punched something. Look at that. I just noticed that on his hand. I hope one of them bit you. I really, really, really do. Let's look at her. She didn't get her hands dirty, she said. Wonder how their two friends are looking. They look okay. I was just trying to like look at their hands and stuff to see what I could see. But they had two weeks to heal, so... He's a farmer. Oh, he's out there, Cheryl. Hmm. The ugly beard, the ugly uh, mutton chop or whatever he got, crowbar freaking stash he's got going on. They're going to have to shave that shit when they go to jail. I don't care. They're going to. They're going to get de Well, they already did. They got deloused. They got all that stuff. They got a little paper bag with some food in it. A little peanut butter Sammy or something. And then they probably went over to segregation 
And they probably all have on suicide prevention vests right now because there's nobody usually there on the weekend um, to evaluate you. So they'll just put you in a suicide small, sit you in a holding cell for two days or whatever it takes until someone can evaluate you. And then if the healthcare worker comes in and evaluates you and says, hey, you're cleared, they'll let you take the suicide smock off. But they're going to be in segregation, I have a feeling, because this is going to be a very high profile case. Yeah, I'm going to, yep, I'm going to stream it. Yeah, I'm going to stream it tomorrow. I'll probably, um, I'll make the thumbnail whenever I get off tonight. If not, I'll make it first thing in the morning, but I'll probably make it tonight. Now, since I'm streaming this, I did have an alarm set. So remind me tomorrow, do my taxes after I get off. Because I did something funky today with my taxes and I, I got to start over. I'm like, what is going on with life? <laughs> so I'm going to end out the poll. We had 442 votes. So thank you guys so much for voting on the poll. I really appreciate it. There's still time if you want to vote. Um, I'll tell you what with the vote end of the poll is in just a minute. I'll give you guys a minute. Yeah, the left side, the two, the the bottom and the top. And then these two are the together. Oh, Liz, Granny's not looking good. She's just not. We gotta think of a different name for her instead of Grandma, Grammy. I'm trying to think of a, what's the one that nobody likes. <laughs> I love that thirteen percent said don't care. So I went ahead and I ended out the poll. It was seventy nine percent said yes. 13% don't care. 7% said no. So those 7%, I'm just going to take it. You're going to be at work and you'll watch on replay. But thank you guys for doing the poll. I really appreciate that. Um, I don't think that there's too much more that's on here. Um, just what we've seen. I will go back to Twitter just really quick just to see um, if there's anything else that Miss Nancy Lou's put up. I really like her. Nope. So that's all. Actually, um, let me look one more place. Come back here. <laughs> oh, wait. Actually, I don't know if they'll have anything on News Nation. Because um, Banfield's not there to be yelling. Videos. Um, Eleventh anniversary since the Boston Marathon bombings. Wow. And did you know that that's what set off true crime on YouTube? The Boston, Boston Marathon. I think I'm actually Mary Beth. I'm going to save that for a whole other live tomorrow, because I have a bunch of tabs open in another window somewhere. Um, let me see what I was going to go over. Let's see if I can pull it up. Okay, so I have, um, I want to go over the, Seth, um, Seth Rogers did an interview with Julie from um, Court TV. It, it's been a little while since he's done it. It's been like a week, but um, I didn't get to see it. I don't believe we watched it because we don't really watch that kind of, we haven't been following that part of the, um, the case too much because it's just a little conspiratorial. <laughs> um, but Katie did make a response to Seth's allegations of the essay. We never did go over that either. So we'll go over that. Um, she came out and did a new interview. It was about two, three minutes long. Now I will read this <coughs> and give you guys a little, a little, um, you know, debunking. So this is Nick Beers from um, NC5. He's been following this case for, um, the whole time that it's been going on. So let me put this over here and share it with you. Okay. Where are you at? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's already up. I was like, is it up? Okay. So basically let me take the banner down since we're talking about different case. Um, why not? Oh, here we go. We'll just put it back. We'll put it on a Sebastian. If you're just now joining us, we just covered the um, the case of Veronica Butler 
and um, Jillian Kelly that were they were found deceased um, tonight. We don't know where, but they are going to hold a press conference tomorrow, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, when we're done with the live, just be on the lookout. I'll make the thumbnail pretty quick um, and I'll get it set up for us. You know, just um, get us something on there. That way you can hit the notified button if you'd like to. So we'd love to have you. Um, it should be very interesting. So today um, I saw this and I thought it was pretty interesting. And I agree with a lot of it. Um, it says, update on Sebastian Rogers missing persons case. I am loath to even respond to some of these out of control rumors circulating on social media. Tell them in the back. But I don't mind many of you contacting me to ask if what you are reading or hearing is true. I'll always try to set you straight. Well, I've got questions, buddy. First, I was flooded with people saying the family has been notified Sebastian was found this weekend alive. Nope. Who said that? Second, more people messaging me to say they had heard a body pulled out of the river in Mississippi is Sebastian. Uh, no, no connection at this point. Let me know if you know who's saying all this stuff too. I'd love to know because I'll, I'll go tell them where to stick it. I don't know where it was at, um, where her interview was at. My, I don't think it was in the RV, but it could have been. It definitely could have been. Um, I didn't even get to watch it yet. I was going to watch it right before this live. And then all that stuff happened with the ladies. And I was like, boop, put Sebastian, you know, tomorrow. But we could, we could watch it. Um, we can watch it tomorrow. It says here, um, I've been in touch with investigators today who confirm nothing and capitalize new to report on the 15 year old autistic teen who vanished from his Hendersonville, Tennessee home nearly seven weeks ago. The hope of course, is at some point there will be a break in the case. And when that happens, we will, we will hear about it from credible investigators working the case, not internet sleuths, psychics or armchair detectives. Just kidding. <laughs> it does my heart good to see so many people still following Sebastian's case, but please take care but please take everything you hear or read on social media and podcasts with a grain of salt. Most if most of it is pure misleading crap. It is. In the meantime, let's keep your eye on the prize, Finding Sebastian. Um, any tips? Call 1-800-TBI-FIND. I mean, you know. Yeah, Cheryl, I ain't touching that case for life of me. Mm -mm. Ain't going down that rabbit hole with bull crap. <laughs> that's another case. It's just, um, the Karen Reed case, just, it's, it's just nuts. It's just too nutty for me. I, uh, I have my opinion on it and I think she did it. I think she was mad that night. That's my personal opinion. I think she was mad and without thinking because she had been drinking a little bit. She hit that gas, I think. And that's what I think. I don't think she, I think she meant to hit that gas. Like she didn't, I think she was so drunk. She didn't think about the repercussions of her actions. Do you know what I mean? I think she just didn't realize what she, what, the, what was going to be the outcome because she was been drinking. That's just me though. And <clears throat> I will say there's this thing going around that says everybody could be Karen Reed. No, no, not everybody could be because I couldn't be Karen Reed. I don't drink and I don't drink and drive. So I couldn't be, I couldn't be in that position. I don't know. Karen Reed case. I just, that's my personal thing. I just, I mean, from what I've seen, I haven't seen like a whole lot. I'm not saying I deep dived or anything like that. That's just, you know, I mean, if, and other opinions are completely welcome because I really don't know a lot, a lot about the case, but, um, I just haven't been following it because There's just other creators that were following it, and I don't want to be near those creators. So, no offense, you know, but read the FBI report. Okay, I will. So, he did fall asleep, I'm hearing, but I don't know if he passed or failed. And um, I haven't seen him out on anybody. I haven't seen him out in YouTube land. Has anybody seen him on, on YouTube? <clears throat> oh yeah, you definitely can't believe everything you hear on social media. Not at all. 
the most recent hearing. I'll have to watch it. I mean, I could just, it's just like, I don't know. I could see someone doing that. Hell, I mean, maybe I could be Karen Reed 20 years ago when I drank. I mean, I mean, even like, what not they, what were they even saying that, um, they found like pieces of his clothing though, like in her car, like on her car or something or the glass from his drink. I don't know. I, I haven't really been following it too much. Like I said, I got the gist of it. Um, I watch people, you know, if like, if I like, like the person, you know, like the content creator and they're, they're doing something Karen Reed, like, I'll skim through it a little bit, you know, but it's, you know. So where did he say that he fell asleep, Doodlebug? So I was looking for that interview. His meds, he was on a week ago, knocked him off. But you know, when you're put on those medications, you know the first time you take it, what it's going to do to you, because it does that to you. I mean, I've read, and let me know, but I read, um, oh yeah, PKC, T-Rev said that he was talking, like texting him. I don't believe that for two seconds of my life. I just don't. I can say I'm texting people too. Why hasn't he been on his show? He's been on everybody's show. Why hasn't he been on his show? Suspicious. Suspicious. Hey, Ashley. Oh, I have medications that knock me straight the hell out. I'm on Seroquel, baby. I'm on a, and I'm on a muscle relaxer every night. That muscle relaxer don't do nothing. Not a damn thing to me. But I'm on them for my migraines. Um, I'm on a lot of medications that put me to sleep. They got to... They got to sedate me or I don't sleep. Um, but I wouldn't take it if I knew I was going to take a polygraph. Or I would take half the dose. Do you know what I mean? Like if my shoulder was still hurting, like, ooh, oh, he has been? Oh, I didn't even, I don't watch TV. <laughs> so I wouldn't know. Never watched, a, I don't, haven't watched a show since Detective John was on there. Really. It's been that long ago. Huh. You have sleep apnea. Oh, how does that work, Cheryl? If you're passed out on Seroquel, what about if you you got to just rely on that machine? Oh, damn. Dolly is another creator on the platform. They're the ones that have all the clickbaity thumbnails that they don't change. They don't change. They don't, half the time they don't even change the damn title. They just ride that wave with the same title. It's crazy. Crazy to me. Um, let me just, I'll just double, triple check everything while I'm exiting out of the, all the um, boxes here. I want to keep that up. Actually, I want to go to just straight Twitter, not like Nancy. The view tonight when we immediately pulled out over in rural can or rural Texas. Oh, this is pretty. Wow. Here, let me show you guys this. Look at the sky. They're leaving the spot like Nancy Lou and them. That's beautiful. It's so sad. Look at how far you can see. Like I ain't never seen nothing like that. <laughs> we have little hills in Ohio. Oh, what was he doing a live one? No, definitely wasn't hit by a car. Oh, PKC, he's like this with every case. Simon Quentin, Quentin Simon. Do you see that? Do you see any of that? Assault? I mean, he got charged with assault. They're out of control. There's a certain group, and I'm learning about them, and I'm learning that they all conjugate together in these little Facebook groups and they all share subscribers and they all share info and conspiracy theories and stuff. So I'm learning, I'm, I'm learning over here on YouTube. That's, I just back out of that. I back out of that shit. I mean, who said, Siggy, who said he passed? Did the cops come out and say he passed? Did anybody other than Seth come out and say he passed? Because I want to know. Because um, I heard I was reading documents that 
Seth had abused Sebastian and Seth tried to say that Sebastian's head fell into his hand. He didn't hit Sebastian. His head fell into his hand. All disorderly conduct. I knew it was something like that. I think they were going to, they were going to charge him with assault. I streamed every day of that case. It was insanity. It was ridiculous. It was stupid. Cops didn't need to be called out there 30 times in 30 days for their dumb asses. They could have been out there searching the landfill for Quentin. Maybe they would have gotten back them close or, you know, maybe a little bit closer to two weeks instead of six weeks. Maybe they would have had a little bit more of them. Maybe they would have had not had to go through 1.2 million pounds of trash to get to him. Oh man, I can, I could go all on that. <laughs> I can go on that all day. I could. Um, It may not have dawned on him that it would be slow enough during the test that he would fall asleep. I mean, even if it's slow, you know what the medicine does to you when you take it. You know if it makes you tired, if it makes you awake. I mean, he knew. Oh, I don't even, I don't fuck with no turtle boy. Uh-uh. Nope, not a day in my life will I ever agree with him. Sorry, but not sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> That guy has done some despicable things. No, I haven't, Mary Beth. I've been so busy. I may have to take some time off of YouTube, actually, like take certain days off of YouTube um, to do some outside work. But hopefully not. Well, you know what I mean, baby girl. I know that it was the FBI. I covered that case. I still cover that case. I still, I still cover it. I shouldn't say I did. Good night, Jan. I didn't see she was leaving. He's just a writer, a Karen Reed writer. My opinion. He's got a little crush on her. Just my opinion. Just my opinion over here. I don't know the case. I don't, I mean, I do know the case. I don't mess with the case. I don't look at the stuff. Um, somebody that just sits there and screams for like, Five hours ain't my cup of tea. I mean, he like literally just screams and yells and says conspiracy. You'll never hear them say anything that's factual. Conspiracy. Uh, um, conspiracy. Uh, uh, that's literally every time I've watched something, that's all I hear. And then Turtle Boy just hear him yelling. I, I don't, I don't ever get into that because he's just yelling. But, you know, maybe, I mean, people might like that kind of stuff. I don't know. You're allowed to like that stuff. I just think he's a little, I call him something else, but I can't say it on, or on YouTube. Hmm. Yes, yeah, Queeky Will, that's one I, I, Melanie seems like pretty rational, but that's one I can't get down with. Like that case, I just, it's, I want to know, so like, I would really like, to see both sides of the case. Like I've already, I've seen too much of the, the Karen Reed support, you know? I mean, they're booing John O'Keefe's family as they're walking into the courthouse. He's a dead cop. No matter what, he's a dead cop. Like, it's crazy to me that they think that they can just do this and then be laughing about it. Smoking cigarettes on the courthouse steps. Half of them look like they're half lit. I mean, you know. And then you got Tom CPU running around. Wow, just wow. Wow and just wowing everybody. I don't know. It, it is entertaining watching them go to court. I just watch the front steps. I don't watch the court proceedings. I think the entertainment's on the outside of the court. <laughs> Let me see what it was say. Oh, Mary Beth, I usually do pretty okay. I thought about like doing every other day or something. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do yet. We'll see. I don't want to do anything. I want to stay here. <laughs> but I um I thought about just picking up since it's summer, like some um like marketing like kind of shifts things. They send me stuff all the time, like 
do you want to come and market? Um, like I've done white claw before and I just will go do it. Now, I don't know if they still want me though. I mean, I'm getting older. Like, do you guys, do they still want someone 38? Maybe. How can you have that many corrupt people though? Like really, I don't see it. I just don't, I don't. Why? Why would somebody take up for another cop, take up for another cop, take up for a judge, take up for another cop, take up for the prosecutor, take up for the FBI. That's not even like, these are all, jur all separate jurisdictions. I've seen them boo John O'Keefe's family, Ashley. It doesn't matter if they're walking in with the McAlberts. It doesn't matter if they're walking in with Jesus fucking Christ himself, honey. They're John O'Keefe's family. This is why I don't cover this case. They are a dead, fallen, not fallen, a dead, killed officer. I don't care who. I don't care. I mean, like, no, you should always be respectful to anybody. Those people aren't convicted just like Karen Reed isn't convicted and she's on trial and they're not. So, that, I mean, does that make sense to anybody else? I mean, I'm sorry. I get a little heated. That's why I don't cover this case. <laughs> That's why I don't cover it because it's, it does, it gets you heated. It gets you like fired up, you know, and I would like to see both sides. I'm just saying like, the I've seen them boo the family before. Maybe they were walking in with the McAlbers. I don't care. It doesn't matter. You don't boo. It doesn't matter. They're walking in with John O'Keefe's family. You don't boo people that, like that. That is ridiculous. And if you think that is okay, then this is not the place. I mean, it's uh, Brian over LTL Live podcast. He's great at that. If you like yelling, screaming, hooting and hollering about Karen Reed, he's your dude. Because, man, like, I just don't see how everyone can be corrupt. I just don't see it. Like, let me see something. Um, is it going to tell me? Probably not. I was trying to see, like. Trying to see if they were, if they would tell me like which agencies were all involved, like exactly. Because you'd have to like have some, you'd have to have a group of people from every agency. Do you think people would want to risk their whole career for one cop? A real, like, a, I mean, really, like the FBI? You think the FBI would take their career just someone they don't even know? I don't know. Yeah, I think they've gone to jury, Cheryl. I think they convicted him. Okay, thank you, Ashley. I will. I have neuropathy too. It it I they actually they don't know what it is. They they're it's terrible though in the mornings. I didn't realize how bad it was until like I just couldn't stop. Like, I mean, it, it's every morning for like the last 10 years. Finally, like today I woke up and I'm like, this isn't, this isn't how you're supposed to feel in the morning, is it? Like, I just have all this like shooting stuff. It's not painful though. I don't know why people say like nerve pain is painful. I mean, not to me anyway. I mean, maybe it is painful, but I've been through a different kind of pain with like broken stuff. So maybe that's why. Like, I think that's why I'm like, I can handle this, but getting so bad I can't it has turned so much into Karen and turtle boy show yeah it, yeah they have PKC maybe I should put a little video together oh you're important and special to us Mary Beth so if they found suspicious things why are why are we still going to trial like that's what I get if anything was out of if anything was wrong, right, they would take the prosecutor off, get a new prosecutor, take the judge off, get a new judge. 
right? No, they don't, Roseanne. I wish they did. <laughs> well, I do have, um, I'm on Gabapentin, but. Yeah, I don't follow her really either, follow either. But if, um, I mean, if there's any corruption, wouldn't they have found that and just, why would they want Karen Reed of all people? They could have framed somebody in the house that night. There weren't all cops in that house. They could have framed one of the women in the house. It looks like everyone else is trying to. Just like the BK circus and they're forgetting. Yep. Um, Zana, Ethan, Maddie, and Kaylee. Your mommy's got a pen and all. Tell her to go to the doctor. They usually give it out. I mean, it's like candy. I feel like, they're like, how many you need a day? I'm like, I just don't even want to take any. Can we do a none? But they won't, they won't ever. So I just don't see it. I mean, maybe, maybe there's something I'm not seeing, but I just don't see it. I just don't see this many people being corrupt. Now she might get out. I mean, she might get, get the charges like lowered because, um, of all the, cons I don't know, all the shit going on in this case, they're probably just done with it, but I don't know. I don't know what will happen. But I will watch it. I'll watch the court hearing and stuff. Because, I mean, I, it gets me fired up. But I know that, I know a certain person would be like, um, flipping their shit if I covered that case. I mean, even if I read all the court documents, I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to take the same, but I, I think the same, but we'll see. Cause I thought there was like so much, I mean, I thought that there was like evidence that they were, I mean, I was listening to someone the other day. I, I can't really remember what I was even listening to. I was cleaning. So I can't like regurgitate what I heard, which I wish I could, but that really sucks. Cause I wish I could. Um, let me check one here one more time. And then I'm going to jump off here. Oops. Sorry, I got a little passionate about the Karen Reed case. I don't even know why I get passionate about it. Because I'm not even covering it. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things, but I'm like, I don't know. I definitely will, though. I'll look into it. I know that Deeds did a live over it. Um, Deeds on the Streets did a live over it not too long ago, too. You think it does DM? I don't think it helps with anything. Not a damn thing. I take them, one, I take them every once in a while. Supposed to take them three times a day. I take them like twice if if they're lucky to go in my system. See that, Harlow. That's why I haven't had a chance to catch up because everybody is like here, there, and everywhere. And I think that's I think Dietz's live would probably be good too to watch. But does anybody else have anything to say? You have to take him to Cat's Life. Sorry, just reading the chat. Causes nerve pain. Yeah, I could feel the, I mean, I guess I could feel what it it is and it's not fun. It's not a fun experience at all. Like, I think that's what I wake up to and it's just like, boom, boom. Like your body feels like it's, I don't know, it's weird. But um, that to me is like, uncomfortable you know what I mean like getting a shot it's uncomfortable um I, and I think that's because like if you guys don't know my 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 face was completely refit it was refixed <laughs> remodified um I had broken I crushed the whole side of my face my jaw my wrist my both of my legs um so it, like crushed them completely bones came out I mean it was bad my foot so I think when I think of pain, I think of it like being like excruciating and like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Because I think that with nerve pain, you don't have to be on pain medication, do you? Like, can't you take something else? You know, do you forget to take them? Like hydrocodone always helps. Yeah. I usually take Advil. It helps. Advil helps. I swear by it. 
They should give me a sponsorship. I I need another bottle of Advil. I always have a bottle of Advil. Oh, okay. That would be good. Carla, that would be a good one. Nerve pain. Yeah. It's just like that. It's like super uncomfortable. I don't know how to like explain it. Use the tinder. Oh. Because I can feel it even like right now. The bionic woman. Yes, yeah, solo. Like when I pick my feet up and put like, if they're on the ground for a while and I pick them up, I mean, it's just weird. I know, Ladybug. I'm going to tell you guys everything that I, uh, my whole, my whole story really soon. I feel like I'm good for it now. Sometimes it's just like exhausting to tell you, like tell people like, or not you, but just, just to tell it all because it's like, I'm talking about me and I'm not talking about like a case. So I don't know. And it's like my life. I mean, really, you know, it happened, but I don't, I won't be crying or nothing. I'll just be like this. So you probably be like that girl didn't even care. <laughs> I wish I had more. Um, I wish I had more pictures and videos, but they, we really just didn't take them. And I think it's because they were afraid to take them because my mouth was wired shut before that. I looked like I had blown up to a balloon, you know, just didn't look good. Yeah, that's probably what it's doing too, Siggy. You're absolutely right. No, GABA is not a benzo. <laughs> I wish it was. I got like 50 bottles of that stuff laying around here. I'd be like, who needs a bottle? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wish I was 38. You want that makes me feel good seeing that. Like, you know. Because one of these days I'm going to be saying that, you know, and be like, I wish I was 38. Just like I, I don't wish I was 28. 30 wouldn't be bad. I do 30. Oh, yeah, criminality. I'll go over there. I like criminality. She seems pretty, um, I don't know how she is with this case, but she seems pretty level-headed. I like her. So we don't know where the bodies were. We just know that they found the, the or they found them. Um, they're going to come out tomorrow at 11 a.m. and do a press conference, 11 Eastern Standard Time, 10 um, Central. You take Tylenol because everything else makes you sick. Yeah, it. I um. that's why I take Advil. I just, I love it. I was on um, really hard medication after I was out of the hospital. I was on oxycodone or oxycotton. And I wanted to get off of that medication so bad, even though I love that medication a lot because, I mean, it helps me walk and everything, but I knew there was a time I needed to get off of that. So I just took Advil one day and literally it took all my pain away. And I was like, uh, why haven't I been using this? And I think it was just the switch of the medications maybe, but that's why I take now. Advil kills your stomach. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I need to get on something like that, Stephanie. Yeah. So your time whist, I think is 10 AM because you're central, aren't you? It'll be 11 Eastern standard time. I'm going to make the, um, the thumbnail as soon as I get off here, I'm going to go over to Canva right now. So I don't forget, but, um, yeah, we're going to get some answers tomorrow. I think we're going to get a lot of answers tomorrow. I think we will. Baby reindeer. On. I don't even want to know what that's about. It looks like that sounds like a, mm, mm, mm. Speaking of saddest movies, uh, who invented, I know Disney invented this, Bambi. Why? Why? Why'd they do that? Why'd they do that to us? I remember watching that. That's the first time I learned about death. I never cried so damn hard in my life. I couldn't get through the movie. Bambi's mom was gone and I was out. You know what I mean? I asked my mom later on in life. I'm like, why'd you show me that? She's like, well, we thought it'd be a cute movie for you. Um, no, it was not cute. Bambi's mom lasted two seconds. And then you look over your own mother. <laughs> you liked Lassie? La well, Lassie did some cool stuff. You know? Mountain in Boise. Oh, but that's pretty. And Dumbo. Yeah, it's about bullying. I didn't really watch Dumbo. I'm glad I didn't. You're always losing righty. Oh, Baby Ranger's a true story of a stalker. Oh, I'm over here like, bam, being up. I'm like, that's the saddest thing I've ever seen, you know. 
of course, the Bambi, the, the cartoon deer. But, you know. What a squeeze that is. You have titanium plates and screws in my right ankle, right arm, and collarbone. Damn dirt bikes and horses. My right ankle has two plates and 14 screws. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. I broke a screw in my, in my, in my leg. When they had, when I, I had the, I have rods in, then I had screws, four in each leg. And I hopped out of a vehicle, like hopped. It was like this much. And I felt something and I was like, oh, that didn't sound like good. I just, it didn't feel right. And like later on that night, probably like around nine o'clock, I was dragging my foot behind me. I was in so much pain. I can't even explain it. I broke a screw straight in half, a titanium screw. I'll have to show that to you guys sometime. I don't have it in here right now, but I'll have to show it to you. I was like, uh, how did I do that? But I did it. So they took the screws out. So that's what I was going to tell you guys. So funny story. It's not too funny, but I'll tell you anyway, you know, the other day when I fell and I busted my butt and I, I could hardly sit on the seat and I was like leaning over one night on the live. I think I might even have a mark. Yeah. I got marks on my, like my elbows red and like over here, I've got a bruise. My whole leg is bruised. Your girl fell again today on the concrete, on the other side. I don't know what's going on with me. I think that like I'm just thinking too much about what's going on and I'm not in the moment. I'm, so I'm going to start, you know, working out, doing some meditation or something tomorrow. Because I really, I mean, I never, ever fall. I take pride in that. They beat that into my head not to fall. Like, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. He's like, you could hurt something. And I fell. So um, for my channel, like my channel name. So my channel name basically is, um, I just thought of it one day. I have metal, titanium metal throughout my whole body from a car accident I was in. And so that's, that's kind of, yeah. That's kind of where it came from. I was just like titanium built. And I was like, oh, that sounds kind of cool. Thanks, Mike. Mike blessing. <laughs> it was a blessing that they did this. It was, I mean, one lady doctor worked with a, a male doctor and she knew what to do to make me feel better as a woman. And he knew how to exactly do it. She was a resident and he was the you know, surgeon. So he got in there and did it, but she made me look like this So. It took a few years, a while, a lot of heartache, but we got here. And I get a new one in August. New eye. I know it's weird to say, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. If I wanted to, I guess I could get like a blue one and put a collar contact in my other one, have blue eyes. But, you know, I'd probably mess up my other eye. So I shouldn't do that. But thank you guys all for being here tonight. Hopefully I don't fall again tomorrow. I text Vincent in my watch because I asked him if he wants to take the dogs out with me and he was eating. So he's like, no, I, I'll stay here. And I'm like, okay, I hate doing this by myself because our dogs are wild. I'm like writing him. I fell. I'm like, thanks for helping me. He's out like looking for me. Well, it was funny. It was funny. Because usually where I tripped, he usually tells me that it's risen right there. Like, and I know it's risen, but today he wasn't with me to tell me Terminate it, man. Dang it. It's only, she only put a period in there, Nightbot. Stop timing her out. They only gave you tramadol after your gallbladder? Cheryl ought to have been like you demanding. Me too. I trip over. That's me, Mary Beth. And I can't, I can't trip. I can't fall. I mean, I've been busting my ass on the concrete. I think it's these shorts. These were, I was wearing these same shorts. I haven't worn them since. Ain't wearing these anymore. I'm throwing these away. These are jinxed. But thank you guys all for being here tonight. I really do appreciate it so much. I am going to, um, oh, Cheryl, I'll be okay. I just need Vincent to go outside with me <laughs> um, whenever he's home at night. But yeah, I will be here. Um, I'll be here at 11 a.m. So I'm going to set up the stream now. I'm going to do the thumbnail, set up the stream before I go to bed tonight. So you'll see it on the main page. So subscribe, hit the like button, all that. Notify yourself or hit the notify me. <laughs> notify yourself. Um, hit the notify me button. Yeah, so it does. So Sh Cheryl, what it is. Okay, I'll show you. what. So if you put like, um, let's say you put hi and you do this on accident and then you say like, Good morning. 
Like if it's like that with the period in there, because I think what you do is you accidentally hit like space or something twice. If you do that with the period, it'll, that's what's timing you out. I was like, no. <laughs> you fell on your hands and knees. Me too. I fell on my hands today and I normally never do that. I'll try to go on my shoulder or something and it burnt. You know how like their hands will burn? There's nothing on them, but man, it burnt. I'm so sick of falling. But I figured I'd tell you guys that because it was kind of funny because every time I fall, I cuss something. I just say a cuss word and everyone's got to hear me. Thank you, doodlebug. Right in that right here. Look at that. Right with the 11 o'clock. Because <laughs> they're due tomorrow and I never wait till last minute. I never, ever do that. But I am just fine. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And night bot, stop bothering. Stop bothering Cheryl. She's good people. We love her here. We want her to stick around. She keeps getting timed out. <laughs> but thank you guys all for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Um, if you guys are watching on replay, hashtag replay in the comments below. And we'll see you guys. I'll see you guys all tomorrow at 11 a.m. So bye, guys.